So, Stephen King, I hear that you're interested in joining the United States Postal Service. Yeah, I need to step back from my writing career, really just take a break from it, and I figured, you know, sign up with the Postal Service. That's an easy enough job, right? Very cool, very cool. I just want to quickly mention some of the job requirements that are going to be required of you if you wish to become a mail carrier. But I'll be honest with you, Steve, a lot of people want to join the United States Postal Service and become a mail carrier, but they don't necessarily understand what the job requires of them. So it's very important for me to go over all of the things that you're going to have to face on a daily basis just to get you an idea of what the job is really going to be like. Okay, sounds good. So of course, as a mail carrier, you will be required to carry the mail. Okay. And you'll be working a city route, so definitely expect to take long walks every single day. What are you doing? Why do you keep holding up my books? Oh, it's just a visual representation just to help you get familiar with what you will be expected to do for the job. That's a little strange, but um, okay, continue. And as you know, Steve, we deliver all year round, no exception. So you have to be comfortable with delivering in all different types of seasons, any kind of weather, you name it. You really don't have to keep holding up my books. I mean, I, I get the picture. I mean, I remember last year we had to deliver during the storm of the century. I mean, whew, that was crazy. God damn it, this is gonna be a long interview. And of course, before you even start delivering the mail, you gotta come in in the morning and you gotta stand around all day casing the mail. Does he think this is funny? And I'll be honest with you, Steve. There's going to be really difficult days. There's going to be days where you don't want to come into work. There's going to be days where you just have had enough and you just feel like the job is just pure misery. But you really just got to push through it and you'll see that the job is worth having. This interview is pure misery. Ugh. And there's going to be those days where you're like, man, am I just working the night shift over here? But in all honesty, you're just going to be working just after sunset. I can't tell if he's just a fan and he's trying to flatter me or if he's just being an asshole. And again, I'll be honest with you, Steve, there's gonna be weeks or even sometimes months where you're gonna be working really long hours. You might even develop a little bit of insomnia, right? And you know, when that happens, you're gonna have to call Dr. Sleep. Am I right? <laughs> right, right, Steve? Steve? Good God, I'm already going postal and I haven't even been hired yet. So for your specific route that I think will put you on, Route 8, there's certain things that I'm going to warn you ahead of time just so that you're not, you know, surprised when you're, you know, actually going to deliver the mail out there. Okay, like what? There's a creepy neighborhood on your route that's called Salem's Lot. I would definitely, you know, be cautious when you're delivering in that area. Why did I think he was actually going to be serious? <sighs> Specifically, there's a black house there. Really? And at that house, there's kind of this huge St. Bernard named Cujo. If you see him anywhere, do not approach him. He's a not a friendly dog. Take me now, Lord. And if you do see him, trust me, you're going to be turning into the running man real quick. How about I turn into Billy Summers and shoot you? Also, once you get familiar with the route, you'll come to realize that they're doing a lot of road work there. So whenever that happens, you know, just... You know, be cautious. How about I go jump in a manhole? I'd rather be attacked by Pennywise than listen to more of your bullshit. Also, towards the end of your route, there's this weird stretch of road where I swear all of the houses are green, and we kind of call that area the Green Mile. Can someone just strap me into the electric chair? I'm losing my will to live here. Also, there's one customer on your route named Thomas. I don't give a damn. For some reason, he always orders packages that require signatures, so we're always having to go up to his house and knock on his door, even to the point where like he has a nickname for all of us. Let me guess, the Tommy Knockers? Yeah, how, how did you know that? Oh, I had a feeling. Just be thankful you're not working Route 19. What's so bad about Route 19? If you were working Route 19, you'd have to deliver to the Dark Tower every day. Why do I keep asking him questions? It's just a very long and arduous journey to finish that route. I mean, I mean, it's seemingly endless, really. This interview is endless. God, it's gone on longer than my writing career. So after our discussion here today, Steve, do you think that you're interested in becoming a mail carrier? If it'll get me out of this conversation, then yes, sign me up. Awesome. We're very glad to have you on board with the Postal Service, Steve. This post office has a rich and honorable tradition and history. We first opened actually in November 22nd, 1963. 
Wow, you guys opened on the same day that John F. Kennedy was assassinated? Is that really the day he died? I'm pretty sure. How do you know that? I'm already regretting this decision. Anyway, Steve, welcome aboard. Can I just ask one question? Go ahead, ask as many questions as you want. How am I supposed to be able to drive the mail truck? Oh, we've got you covered, Steve. Trust us, we've got you covered.